I've dealt with money blockages for so long. I believe I'm a great manifester when it comes to anything but money. I've uncovered block after block, but it seems as if I still can't attract money. Any help on getting rid of blockages would be appreciated. So when it comes to manifestation, um, especially when it comes to manifestation of money, there's just, there's so much has been said and rehashed about the law of attraction, about uh, energy blocks having to do with the manifestation of money, that a lot of times I feel like this topic is a little bit polluted, uh, the energy is polluted around it. So there's a really important concept and understanding of manifesting anything that I think is worth noticing here because when I when I read a question like this when when somebody sends in a question that has this kind of energy I can spot right away that there's a tremendous identification with money so there's a lot of scarcity there's a lot of fear there's a lot of energy being dedicated to the theme of money to the topic of money and the more that you have an identification with something the more you're channeling energy but the more focused the energy gets and the more um, constricted it gets. That's the word. The, the energy gets constricted when you focus too much on a specific topic. So that's an important thing to start with uh, when answering this question. Of course, some people will then say, you know, how can I not focus on money? How can I take my attention away from it if I'm not making enough money or I'm having difficulty paying my bills? So money is sort of on the top of my mind because I really need money. And so there's this kind of, uh, there's this wheel going on. There's this spiral going on of trying to not focus too much on a specific topic because when you do that, you constrict the energy too much. But at the same time, if you really need something, then how do you focus your attention away from it? So I understand that this can be a hard balance. I had to go through this uh, kind of in, in a very, very deep way also. So there were phases after my spiritual awakening where, I lost everything, like everything, zero dollars in my bank account. I completely lost everything. This is when I was shifting careers. I was going through really big difficulties in my spiritual awakening, and I lost everything from a material perspective. And I remember in those times when I had nothing, it was hard to not be afraid, to not be in that scarcity mindset and that scarcity vibration. But an interesting thing started to happen, and this is something that I talk about a lot when it comes to manifestation. One of them is for you to realize that you're not manifesting anything by yourself. So you're never manifesting anything by yourself. Just by really understanding this, it takes the pressure off of you because a lot of times we're under so much pressure to do something, to manifest something. And it's because we're in this ego trap that we're think we're, we think we're doing everything by ourselves. So we're not, you never manifest anything. Even if a million dollars shows up in your bank account, you didn't do that on your own. You didn't manifest it on your own. So there's always, this beautiful dance between your energy and the universal energy and that dance is coming together and money is being created or manifested in this specific video we're talking about money but it could be any manifestation you can manifest a partner you can manifest you know a different city to live in you can manifest different things in your life but you're never doing it on your own so that's an important thing to lighten up the energy around it when you open up the energy and you realize that you're not doing this on your own there's another important aspect that comes in that people rarely like to talk about, and it's called divine timing. So a lot of times there is not any blockages. You don't have any blockages. You're not doing anything wrong. Everything is going fine, but divine timing is at play, and sometimes divine timing takes a little while to catch up to whatever expectations we have in our minds. And this happened to me. Uh, I remember this very, very clearly. I was having a lot of money difficulties. I was trying, trying, and trying to manifest, manifest, and manifest, and I I actually had went through a breakthrough where I just surrendered. I had nothing and I surrendered and I said, you know, I'm just going to focus on small things to be thankful for and grateful for every day. And the money is going to come whenever it's time. And I really just let it go. And I started to focus on small things to be grateful for. And it would be small things like having a warm shower to take or a cup of warm coffee to drink in the morning. I was grateful for all of these small things. And then something interesting happen, happened. When it was time for money to manifest in my life, it manifested very quickly. And 
to this day, I still can't explain it. And it's very difficult sometimes for us to be able to explain the, the work of divine timing. Sometimes we're not manifesting money because it's not time yet. Sometimes we need to go through some healing. We need to go through some spiritual processes. We need to go through some changes that are way beyond what our minds understand. There's a lot of spiritual stuff playing out that we are not conscious of. And sometimes it's just simply up to divine timing. So when it comes to this question here, um, the person is, says that she's identifying a lot of blockages and blockages and blockages. So that energy is very constrictive. So I would just open up the energy and I would say, what if you don't have any blockages at all to manifesting money? And what if simply it's divine timing that's at play and the moment that you just release it and you say, I give this to the universe, I'm going to be grateful for whatever I have right now. And whenever it's time for money to flow into my experience without effort, I'm here to witness it and I'm here to accept it. And once you do that, once you release it and you just allow this, this topic, this entire topic of money, when you give it to God, when you give it to the divine, when you give it to divine timing, things are going to start happening when it's time to start happening. And you just really have that, that, that focus on gratitude and that focus on this 100% knowing that things are going to happen for you. Money is going to flow in divine timing. This is very liberating to do that because it takes the it takes a huge responsibility off of your shoulders of thinking that you're manifesting money all by yourself. It takes a huge responsibility off of your shoulders and it also takes a lot of criticism and judgment out of the equation because a lot of times there's a lot of criticism and judgment when we can't supposedly can't manifest something. We start to feel like failures, like there's something wrong with us, like we have all kinds of blockages as this person said in her question, but maybe there aren't any blockages at all. So I invite people who feel like they have money blockages. I invite them to start thinking of their situation instead of thinking it as I have all these money blockages that I need to get rid of in order to welcome money. Maybe just start saying to yourselves, I don't have any money blockages. Maybe it's just divine timing that's at play and I'm going to remain open and I'm going to remain in, in a state of gratitude. And when money, it, when it's time for money to flow into my experience, it will. I hope this helps. 